Hello, today a quick um, video, although it won't be moving uh, much, uh, because I think it's probably better to show it this way, about uh, how you can turn uh, your iPhone into uh, a monitor. Uh, we've already talked about it before, so if you want to see more, look at the older videos I made with the application called Field Monitor, which is shown on the app. But um, somebody asked uh, uh, about how you could hook it up to your camera. I've shown different ways before, but somebody yesterday posted an, uh, a small HD 5 series, I think, which kind of looked like this, and it made me sort of ponder about could I make uh, uh, the arm sort of, yeah, look the same, uh, if that makes sense. So um, this is again just being shared so that uh, maybe somebody can use this idea. So what I did yesterday, I ordered um, an iPhone clamp that was 8 euros and it came in a really nice box by the way so for 8 euros that's not bad which basically allowed me to make this angle so it's like a normal clamp that you see quite a lot with a screw that you can lock it down but it did had a screw over here so that I can make this corner and put it into such an arm now in this case I'm using the arm from uh, my small HD focus uh, which is quite expensive. I think it's if you want to order it separately, it's about 50 bucks. Um, and I think that's probably too much money, but we will probably soon see clones of this or similar arms that you can use. And I even think that maybe somebody should come up with a total solution uh, for this, because it does extend, um, I think, um, this use case quite a lot. Uh, because if you can get this arm, including the part I'm now sort of hacking up over here, um, for 30 or 40 bucks, I think it's combined with the 20 euros for the uh, app itself, you already get a really nice solution. Uh, and again, there's no wires here, so there's many use cases where this is actually preferred over uh, a small HD or another monitor. And not only the price, but also it's smaller to take with you and, and things like that. There's definitely um, um, upsides to the small HD. I, lo I love it, it's, it's brilliant, but we are talking about a different use case and different uh, amounts of money. Because again, the idea is that you can take something like this with you, if your phone with you anyway, if you just have a small sort of holder, or in this case an arm, uh, that will be quite small in your bag, and you can just use it uh, when you need it, and sort of have it as a backup. I'm making this for myself, almost like a backup. So what you see here is that I connected a small HD arm, in this case, to this um, yeah, a clamp, which you can turn around, in this case, turn around. I don't need the turning around part, um, so that's what the last picture is about, but uh, it was the only one I could find that allowed you to put this in landscape mode. So you can see I can just screw it up uh, at the bottom, and uh, screw it in at the bottom, and then it would just sort of work like this. And you can flip it around, and also the app detects that, and it will flip the screen for you, so that's already the same sort of behavior, uh, so that you can either uh, aim it to yourself, aim it up, or flip it over and let uh, the person in front of the lens see it, either in selfie mode, or um, yeah, if you're interviewing someone. A nice sort of benefit, which is really different than using a wired monitor, is that even if you hit record, which you can do on, on the screen, which is also nice, even if you hit record, um, you won't lose the functionality of your uh, LCD on your camera. So it's the only way that you can get two cameras or two monitors um, working at the same time. So you can watch the picture and the other person can watch the picture, which is definitely a plus. Now on the last picture, I basically took the whole clamp part off. And uh, I, you see my hand because I didn't want to glue it to my normal case. But uh, what I will do next is I will order a new um, iPhone cover, which costs about $10. Or 10 euros and I will just throw away this part and this part and glue it to the back of this um, this cover and then it becomes one part uh, again really strong and you can see just this I just needed the angle to be able to uh, to make this work so um, yeah maybe this somebody can use this idea maybe can, somebody can build something based on that, this idea where you can have this whole arm including this rotating part with the um, the uh, point where you need to, um, yeah, the where you can rotate it uh, in the same sort of 
line as it is in the middle of your phone and not where it now will be will be about a centimeter deeper uh, which is a little bit less nice but still extremely workable so um yeah again this is the end of the video hopefully you um oh let me know in the comments if you uh yeah didn't mind this me talking over a picture uh, because i figured it was a better way to showcase uh what i was trying to do here okay see you next time bye bye